through that. There's ways to work through that. But my question is, okay, now let's talk damages from the county and from the citizens. Is the city of Valdosta going to put up a claim form on this beautiful city of Valdosta webpage so that we have a means of filing claims against the city of Valdosta and they can flow those claims down to the subcontractors? That would be discussed a little bit. Well, I think that should be an action item. Okay, absolutely. Like I said, that's what we've already discussed, like I said, with the third party contract because we knew we were going to have But there needs to be a means of collecting claims from the public and from the county. Yeah, I'm certain that will take place once we decide exactly how the procedure is going to work. I, I, I can't just do it. It's got to be a procedure. Yeah. So, so yes, we have had we have. That's a very question. We, 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 we're in constant contact. Well, we certainly would appreciate it if you would improve the communication to the citizens who are here in this room who have actually live in the city, pay taxes, and are deeply concerned about this problem. Absolutely. I, yeah, I agree with you. But I, oh, this, this, I don't know if it's long tonight, but I just want to share, we talk a lot about communication and notification. Let me kind of tell you, and, and I'm not playing the victim here by any means, but I just want to share this with you. After this last minute, EPD doesn't want us to contact you guys anymore. Because y'all are finding out before they find out. And people are making calls in there before they put in the information. So, now we are, we're catching from all sides again, not playing the victim, but when it comes to communication, I'm, I'm with it. But, you know, and I, I tell each one of you, I told them absolutely not, I'm not stop. If they find us, whatever has to take place, I'm not going to stop doing that. And I'm with you about finding a better so, way of communicating. Can I, can I, can I ask this question? So your state regulatory agency is telling you not to push out information to the public? You mentioned it before, maybe that's I think we should let the governor know we don't like that <laughs> idea. <laughs> 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 Devastating to our region and your region uh, when it comes to your, you know, your tourism and the quality of life on the river. So I guess my question would be, um, where do we go from here? How do we, as a collective unit here, how do we work together in repairing the reputation of our river? And with the Coochie River, the Hall River, the Lapahoochee, all of them, to make it a better place and the people want to visit and canoe on and camp on and, and swim and fish in. So I, my, my question is how can we, where do we go from here in that aspect? Mm -hmm. We for the next four quarters and I'll celebrate the fact we have a nice school. And then that starts cycling down the Google charts as well. Which people look at. Mm -hmm. One of the things we were talking about initially was, you know, you have some toy money. And utilize it, to, everybody's cool with utilizing our public information officer to do that. We never got around to that, that from last year. That was one of our goals to try to get some essential marketing uh, uh, for our region on that ecotourism. I think that's a great idea. It's just showing, you know, we're working together with trying to get the problem solved. So, marketing, one of the things I did talk about with EMC was perhaps some contribution to our region to have that marketing for us. That you were very willing to speak to that as well. So just another option that we may have to do exactly what you're talking about. And you know, terrorism has happened. We have, we have talk, started that conversation pretty pretty heavily as far as our next phase on how to improve the quality of life on the river. It's a market advantage. You have to make sure that you got minor. Um, I still want to develop our group with our parks and rec authority, but again, same what you are. Do it. 
So I think it's your way too far to advantage down there, especially in the front there. It's like you've got water, and I think you've got lots of land, and I think you've got three and two state parks and one private park, and then you also have a beetle plantation down there. I think you've got a lot of market. I think it would be very attractive for like from the city to take both. And we have Blue Springs at the Hamilton County, this one in Madison County, that's probably at one time one of the most visited deep uh, water, uh, what do you call it? Magnitude uh, 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 Springs that visits from all over the world. You know, there are now, you don't see that. I, agree. I have one more quick question. How many. Um, Commissioners, do we have in the city, or well, no. are they all city commissioners, city council members? How yeah. many are there? We have seven council. Okay, so how many are here tonight? Uh, one left. Are you one? Three, and you're four, one. Four, so we have four. My question is, I realize for one thing, it's a church night, and some people do have other obligations on Wednesday nights. But considering that now at this point in the meeting we have three out of seven left here, my question is, are the commissioners, are you taking it seriously? Yes. Are, are, you, are you concerned and you, you realize because you do deal with your constituents whenever there's a problem. So you can imagine me dealing with the ones in my district as this comes down. And that's why I was just asking you because of the lack of attendance to the Maybe they just had other commitments and could not make it. It's been scheduled for a long time. I can I'm promise you the three that we're missing at the start of this live for the one 